What's up everybody at Dustin Depp and today I'm just going to show you uh, a quick overview of the Sonos app for the for your iOS or Android device. Obviously I'm running this one in iOS. Um, the quickest way to get it uh, is go to the app store here. <clears throat> just go for search. Type in Sonos. It'll be the first one that comes up. There are other controllers that will control the Sonos but uh, you know just stick with the original. Um, go ahead and hit open here because I've already got it downloaded. Now, as you can see, I've got um, this one here labeled Upstairs, and it's playing uh, The Monster by Eminem. Um, this is to in Spotify, hence the little Spotify symbol down there in the bottom right. Um, you can change the music just by hitting music here. You've got all your different, um, you got your music library, which would be what is on my phone or on a network device. This is what's on the phone here. Um, radio, Spotify. I've got Spotify here because that's what I... I use the most. You hit more music. You've got all these different options here. You got Amazon Cloud Player, Deezer, Last FM, Radio, Stitcher Smart Radio. I mean, there's loads. Plus, there's more if you go to um, if you go to Sonos.com, like it says there. Um, so we'll go ahead and hit back. Um, alarms. You can put in alarms. Set up an alarm that'll wake you up at a certain time in whatever room you want. If you've got more than one line in, as all the Sonos speakers have a line in except for the sub, you can. Uh, Obviously, just go off the line in. Um, I've got a radio station set up here as my favorite. Uh, let's see. I'll show you how to go to radio. If you click on radio here, you can actually search for like any radio station in the world. So that's pretty sweet, and it's free. Um, to go and change from different rooms, down here in the bottom right, you see the little house symbol with the music uh, symbol in it. Just hit that. So then I can go to living room here, and obviously the source is the TV because it's a play bar playing it. Um, this thing right here in the bottom... I'm just going to click above it so you can see that it makes the uh, sound clear, uh, the voice come through clear on the play bar, which is you really need it on all the time because the play bar is pretty loud without it. Um, you can hit this button right here in the middle. I'm just clicking above it as you can see. That little moon, it turns down the bass. That way you don't wake up people. Um, it's pretty cool. If you hit this button right here, it brings up what's in the queue. So like uh, you can set up what you want to hear next which is good. Um, you can play multiple songs on different rooms, so I can go in the living room, obviously play something, play something different upstairs. If you want to group them together, you just hit group, and I would click right there next to the living room, and uh, you'd be good to go. I'm going to hit it done there. Um, yeah, if you want to get to your settings, it's kind of awkward, actually. So you're going to go hit what you're on, hit music, and then hit settings. So there's uh, it's not the easiest app to get around, but once you figure it out, it's it's cakewalk, but like I said, it's not very self-explanatory, so it does take a bit to get there. Um, you can go and share. You can do everything in the app. There is a lot of functionality in it. It's just hard to find some things. So if you guys have any problems trying to find anything in the Sonos app, just uh, hit me up at um, www.facebook.com slash Dustin Depp. Uh, thanks a lot, guys. Any questions or comments or anything like that, please put them in the box below. Peace.